some time it takes time yes so we are studying from the Gita the one of the greatest steps it summarizes all the principles so we are studying a couple of the principles from the first chapter expectations of happiness from the world outside keeps us open to frustration fear and the failure Do whatever we want to do. But as long as the expectation is there, expectation of happiness, expectation of wealth, organize, have an agenda, work hard, do it. But the very expectation of happiness, which you can say pleasure, keeps us open to the failure, frustration, and Fear, that creates a typical behavior and attitude in our life. And that expectation results into uncontrolled behavior. I've been giving lessons, you know, I don't know for how many weeks. But one day, one day, one day, and all your expectations are shattered, then I become a bad guy. It is very easy to become a bad guy because my mind is uncontrolled. And that happens in our relationship also. We are working on the mind. We are understanding how this mind as failure, frustration, reaction, anxiety. Can you tell me what would be your behavior and attitude tomorrow in the morning? Can you say that I will have a controlled behavior? Can you say with the certainty? I know the answer. I don't want an answer from you guys. That is the result of the expectation because that mind is full of all those stuff all the time. Expectation means that I have an emotional dependence on the outer situation, people, things, etc., etc., situation, condition, even. First level, happy new year. First level of the mind. Second level of the mind is deeper within. There, it keeps all those impressions. Sophie is smiling. <laughs> Have you ever experienced that? No, no, I'm a great meditator. I have never experienced it. John stuck his stitching, <laughs> scratching his head. Do you see this is what we are working on? I love you, I like you. What the hell you have done? Next moment. This text, this master works, makes us understand why it happens, and how to work. And it is all because of the me world that we have created in our life, me world. Me world is different from the real world. I have already, huh? That me word is the cause of unhappiness, dissatisfaction, in sense of incompleteness, despair, grief, sadness, selfishness, jealousy, strong liking. Add everything. Oh, he says, I agree with you. <laughs> Even if you don't agree, these are the principles, uh, beautiful principles. 
we are not ready to change that specific behavior and attitude there is a cycle that continues in our life and uh, even at the time of cremation complete the sentence Even when we are 80 and 90, we keep that behavior in it. That is why we have to. It, that behavior makes us lazy, crazy, obsessed, selfish. The mind continues to repeat the mantra, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want. You did not meet my expectation. First, I was my soulmate. And after a few weeks, you are not meeting my expectation. Have you heard that dialogue? That's why I'm specifically using expectation. You can say hope. You can say desire. We covered last week that animals reaches to a stage of physical maturity. After that, their mind is governed by the nature. So whatever happens, let it happen. No comparison. Ah, the tiger doesn't compare. Oh, elephant, how big you are. But when we meet... Huh? When we meet, my mind has millions of expectations and it gathers millions of momentum of frustration, failure, and the fear and the insight. I don't want to name that woman. She has spent about, I told you before also, $20,000 in plastic surgery. My nose, you know. Knows what I have to do with your nose. I told her she underwent into depression and then she used to come to my house for <laughs> private. I said, What I have to do with your nose, my dear? Nobody cares, you keep your expectations alive. Do you understand that point? This is the life. This is the life we are living. Even at the age of 80, 90, we don't want to leave this particular behavior and attitude. Let us go a little further. Pleasure is changing in objects. Objects of pleasure are changing. Attitude towards the object is changing. Where it is happening in the mind. Maybe one day you say, Oh, I'll leave this beard guy, you know, he talks a lot. I have my own as in the You want to say something, so <laughs> understand pleasure is changing with reference to an object. Object is changing, object of the pleasure is changing, my attitude towards the object is changing in the world. That object may be a person, may be a situation, may be your honey, maybe your money, everything is. But we want to hold on to the expectations. So there comes a great conflict. Ah, that's what I told you. First, oh, I'm attracted to you. Then dating, then soulmate, then soulmate, then divorce, then remarriage. Ah. I'm not saying only between a couple, but it is happening with an object. I like this coffee and that coffee.
where it is happening. It is happening in the mind. Mind must change. One point is Inda of the Eastern wisdom. Understand the nature, function, structure of the entire mind and change the mind. If you do not change the mind, you will continue to suffer. Don't spend money, don't spend any effort to change anyone outside who is living with you. It will not bring any result. You cannot change anyone. You can change yourself. You can definitely change yourself. Now it will blow your mind. You need to think. And I know that you all are listening to it and you are thinking of it. Perhaps some changes is also taking place. Thanks, God. What a beautiful way, Master says, that there is no object, person, event, situation, condition, cloth, dress, in the world whose property is peace and happiness. Tell me. Peace and property, if, peace and happiness, if, why should I say if? Peace and property, peace and happiness are the properties of John, we all will chase John. The entire world will chase. But it doesn't mean otherwise. Okay. It's better to have a couple in the session, you know, than enjoy teasing. You see, peace and happiness are not the properties of anything, any person, any event. Can I live with that awareness day to day? Life changes. I express peace and happiness because I'm drinking coffee. I express peace and happiness, honey, because I live with you. I have only one point is in the, if you have one point is in the, no expectations, let me express peace and happiness in every situation, in every condition, because peace and happiness are within me. If it is not outside, it has to be within me. Isn't it? If it is not outside in any object, what may, keeps me alive all the time? Oh desire for peace and happiness. Ani, you did not meet my expectation. I work so hard, but I did not get expected result. I have been awfully busy. That's why I'm awful, but I was thinking of something more. You, you, you see that in daily life, we use this word maybe 100 times. Why? Because it is already stored in my mind. That shapes my behavior and attitude. I have a lot of expectations from you, but you frustrated me. You remain frustrated. That is your nature. That is your personality. Master says, no, you have to get rid of this. And once you get rid of this, life takes an about turn. How should I live then without expectation? For one hour, with eyes open, watch and observe the mind only for an hour, for about three and four days. The moment any expectation comes only for an hour, drop that expectation and check the mind. You will find out that one hour of not expectations keeps your energy level very high.
you experience the calmness that permeates every situation. What should I do? You know, I don't want to go for Christmas party. I said, don't go. One of my student, you know, private sessions. No, no, my son has a big house, so he asked me to celebrate the Christmas there. But I have a small house and I have invited my friends. Uh, she's 60, under 60, 70s. I've invited my friends there. So now I'm pissed off. What should I do? Do nothing. Do you see the expectations? Son has an expectation. A woman has an expectation. One hour. You need only one hour every day. The life will change. My master gave me this tip. He said, you find out. Any thought contains the expectation, you drop it only for an hour. Only for an hour. That is the beauty of this understanding. We want to keep ourselves busy with an idea, with an expectation of car, of food, of coffee, of honey, of money, of clothes, of makeup. You know, we have more women, you know, we are only two. Don and I, so... But we also do some some makeup, you know. That leaves us frustrated, fear, it creates a habit, it is impulsive, and it causes a lot of problems. If we do not keep this understanding in the mind, this clarity in the mind, nothing is going to happen. You practice meditation for 20 years, but still the expectation is present in the mind, nothing is going to happen. So those people who find that, you know, I'm not able to reach to that state, it is because of this. Whether you agree or you do not agree, this is the truth. <laughs> this is the fact. It is this understanding that opens the door. If I do not expect, if I do not hope, if I do not desire, then let me understand who am I first. It begins the self-inquiry. Master says, that we are continuing the journey, but Master says in the in the end that once you start the self-inquiry, you find that real self is peace, is happiness, is knowledge, is love, is will. Problem is gone. Fear is gone. Insecurity is gone. Frustration is gone. But it doesn't mean that, okay, now I am in peace, so I should be fasting. You continue to do your activities outside. But now you are performing all your job, all your duty with a hundred percent, without any frustration, without any fatigue, without any duality and economy. How the mother works for her newborn baby. Ask her. Ah, will they ever get frustrated? We say in India that, you know, the mother is in the kitchen and she knows what the baby in the other room because mind is free from expectation from the baby. That is the beauty 
of this journey. So it means self-inquiry. It means one thing is clear. What is clear? Peace and happiness are not the properties of anything, any person, any situation, any condition outside. But I experience peace. I'm looking for peace and happiness. I'm looking for freedom from the fear. Why I'm looking? After all, it, it must be somewhere. But if it is not in the world, it is inside. So I have to find out. I have to do the same. But as long as this expectations continues, the mind continues to project, we remain frustrated. That's why I told you, we do not know. If you know it, tell me that what is, what would be my behavior and attitude after a few hours <laughs> with a person? Am I right? I'm so goody-goody and happy, I love you, I care you, what the hell? We don't know from where it comes. We claim, we say sorry, but it comes to the mind. Meditation changes that completely. Meditation changes that completely. Means it changes the mind. That change is known as freedom. That change is known as nirvana. That change is known as awakening. Okay, I will listen to you, but I will continue to do what I am doing. <laughs> so that is not going to change. Unless I take a decision that, okay, I am in peace today. When I woke up in the morning, I will continue to be in peace throughout the day. If the mind will react, I will hold it back. And I will find out what is that expectation because of which mind has been. That is known as, it's not a big deal. That is known as nirvana. That, that will pave the path to the nirvana or moksha or awakening, whatever you want to say. Or we discover that peace and happiness within. I'll not talk in detail. I'll not talk more because I see that Charlie has some symptoms. So, and she decided to join in spite of the headache. So we will remove head and the headache both in meditation. So please close your eyes. Close your eyes and let us start our